I stay here? Glad to see you, Miles. Right on time, Mr. Shannon. <laughs> I like my men to be punctual. How do you like him? It's a right fine horse, Mr. Shannon. What do you say we dispense with the formalities? Call me Dwayne. You and the boys hungry? <laughs> well, we've been riding since sunup. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we discuss business over some uh, good home cooking? Can't argue with that. Tim! Take care of these gentlemen's horses. Yes, sir, Mr. Shannon. Let's get some of these. What do you say? I love it. Your friend Taggart didn't take the train. Not surprised. Prison does strange things to a man. Makes him kind of... kind of skittish. Besides, he's probably not over that ambush yet. Yeah, well, I hear he got pretty chummy with the prison chaplain. Religion? <laughs> Religion, Miles, I'll tell you, the people around here are plum dizzy with religion. It's got so an honest man can't make a living stealing and swindling. We're here to change that, ain't we, Mr. Shannon? Dwayne, Miles, Dwayne. I always say, when a man neglects his own mother's funeral, why, there's still hope for that man. <laughs> We're gathered today to lay to rest a dear friend, Hannah Louise Taggart. Hannah was a good woman. She and William had two sons. John the eldest died in the Civil War. Hank, her youngest, came to no good. But Hannah prayed for him and her prayers were answered, for she lived to see him follow the Good Shepherd, our Lord. She saw her son go to prison and prayed as only a mother can pray for his release. Amanda, would you like to say something in memory of your grandmother? She loved my daddy. She loved him even when nobody else did. And grandma believed in Jesus. She did the right even when nothing looked right or sounded right. She loved my daddy. And I miss my grandma. You know, Amanda, you will see her again someday. Yes, friends, we have the promise of our resurrection based on Christ's resurrection. But now is Christ risen from the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Hannah was ready to meet her Lord. And she asked me some time ago to challenge each of you to receive Christ as your personal Savior in case one of you hadn't. This is what he died for, to give you eternal life. If you're sorry for your sin and believe on Christ, then you will see Hannah again. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes. Hannah Taggart is with her Lord. Well, gentlemen, let's get down to business. What about Taggart? Well, we all know Taggart's wife wrote the warden and the governor. A married man with no previous record, a father to boot. His mother lay dying and his wife pleading hardship. Well, if you're a high official looking to stand for re-election, what would you do? Well, I'll tell you what. You'd play for the sympathy vote. So the governor, he thinks about it for a little while, and then he confers with the territorial marshal. They help spring Taggart from the state prison. Now he's free to foul up everything we've planned. Do you think somehow he could get the money to save his ranch? How can he? He's broke. Broke with a wife and daughter to support. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not taking any chances. I've got to have Taggart's land in that street. Tomorrow, I want you to go into town and talk to Claiborne at the bank. You take care of this thing before Taggart gets here. It'll be my pleasure, Mr. Shannon. A man about to have his ranch repossessed, he could do some mighty strange things. 
Why? He just might. You know what they say. Once an ex-con, always an ex-con. That's all he knows. Gentlemen, Taggart's release from prison came just at the right time. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going to help us grab his land. And at the same time... And at the same time, we'll blow the new Hank Taggart right out of the water. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, let's have some pie. <laughs> Mister, did you know the deceased? I might say that. Said where I'm going. Ain't no sense in paying too much for all these frills. Just a plain pine box, she said, nothing fancy. Good woman, Hannah. Her strawberry preserves was the best in the territory. Can't understand her no good son, though. They said they let him out of prison Said he was supposed to be to a funeral, but he weren't. But Hannah sure could have used a son's help. Said he spent all of his time in bad company. Even let his wife and his daughter down. What gets into a man like that? I wish I knew. We don't hold no good varmints like Hannah's son. Low down good for nothing, Ingrid. They should have shot him and been done with it. Yeah. Hannah, old girl, we're gonna miss you and your strawberry preserves. Your orange marmalade ain't nothing to sneeze at, neither. I just can't understand it, Pee Wee. I prayed so hard. I wish I could talk to Jesus just like I'm talking to you. I know he's real, but you know. Yeah, man, I know. But even if we can't talk to him face to face, he's about the only one that makes any sense. People let you down. I know. Why didn't Daddy come to Grandma's funeral? I don't know. Ashamed, maybe? Afraid, maybe? I don't know why grown-ups act the way they do. But God changed him, didn't he? I guess so. But look, Amanda, just don't expect too much so soon. I'll never give up my dad. I just won't. Pee Wee, you can stay if you want. Mom said you could. You can sleep in the spare room. Thanks, Mrs. Taggart. Mama, I'm so sad. Daddy didn't come. Grandma dead and we're going to lose our home. What's going to happen to us? You can stay at our house. Mom was going to say something to you, Mrs. Taggart, if worse came to worse. Thanks, Pee Wee. Now, now, Amanda. Honey, don't cry. The Lord's going to work everything out. You'll see. If only Brave Eagle or the mysterious stranger in white were here, they'd know what to do. I think so. Where could we find them? Probably not much chance of finding them. I don't even know where my dad is. Come, Amanda. It's time for bed. You'll feel better in the morning. Night, Amanda. Night, baby. Hmm. How did that verse go? But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Be sure to loosen all the soil. Makes it easier for the water to get to the roots. Strong roots, pretty flowers, right, Mama? Something like that. Mrs. Taggart? Yes, Pee Wee? I was wondering, could we take some to church Sunday so Pastor Shaw could put him in front of the pulpit? Well, that's mighty neighborly of you.
It's him! It's him! Remember the money Ma sent me from her preserve sales? Used to buy old patients here. I'm truly sorry for all the heartache I've caused you, Liz. Wish I could have made it back before Ma died. She deserved a better son than me. But at least I made it to Armour in time for the funeral. Amanda, made me mighty proud what you said about Ma and me. Oh, Daddy, I knew you'd come. We didn't see you. Where were you? I was up on a hill overlooking the valley. Then why didn't you come home last night, Hank Taggart? Well, I heard they were going to be gunning for me when I got off the train. Don't know what we'd do if something would happen to you now, Hank. I spent the whole night thinking and praying, reading the good book. I was reading. All of a sudden, it seemed like God was speaking right to me about my fear. Sorry I didn't take that Bible you tried to give me last year. But the chaplain gave me one. Spent a lot of time reading it. Wasn't much else to do. Here's that verse. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand. So I've decided to believe God's promise. Liz, from now on I want to trust God and do what's right. I know it'll be hard for me. I'm going to need your help, Liz. And I need you to keep praying for me, too. I will, Hank. Well. Good to have you back, Mr. Taggart. Mighty solid handshake you got there, Pee Wee. My dad says you can tell a lot by a man's handshake. I'm learning that. You boys stay here. I think you'll find these papers in perfect order. Oh, they look fine. My boss wants to save you the time and expense of putting this property up for auction. He's prepared to make you a fair offer. There's no need of you being mysterious about who you work for, Mr. Miles. Chandler Miles. <laughs> Everyone in these parts knows that Dwayne Shannon is after the Taggart Ranch. And he's up to no good. He needs that stream that flows through Taggart's property. Without it, his spread is just not worth a hill of beans. Is that so? What do you say, Mr. Claiborne? Do you think we can get this settled this afternoon? By law now. Don't law. talk to me about the law. I'm not about to make any special deals with Dwayne Shannon. There will be no public auction. If Mr. Shannon wants his property, he's going to have to submit a sealed bid. Sealed bid? What are you talking about? Just exactly what I said, a sealed bid. You tell Shannon that he has to have his bid in my office, on my desk, no later than 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. You also tell him that he can't outbid his competitors by threatening them. No neighbor of mine is going to end up in a dark alley, bloodied and bruised by some cheap hired hand. Mr. Shannon, don't take too kindly to threats and accusations, Mr. Claiborne. You just tell him. When he comes, he brings cash. He's overextended at my bank. And you, Mr. Miles, have overextended your welcome in my bank. Good day, sir. Oh, by the way, at my bank, 
we season business with compassion. Mr. Taggart has paid his debt to society, and I'm going to see that he and his family have every opportunity to get back on their feet. In four days? <laughs> Claiborne, your compassion ain't worth a bucket of hot air. We got problems, Hank, but leastways we got our health. Is life always like a puzzle, Dad? Guess so, honey. We gotta take the bitter and the sweet. I had a lot of time in prison to think about how good the Lord's been to me. I came mighty close to death. If it hadn't been for the mysterious stranger taking my bullet, I'd be in hell right now. I shake thinking about it. And if Brave Eagle hadn't have told me how God's son took the bullet for me on the cross, I probably wouldn't be saved. I'm mighty grateful to him. I never had time to thank him. Got hauled off to prison so fast. Maybe they'll come back someday. Maybe so, Pumpkin. Liz, your letters meant a lot to me. Yours too, Hank. I've been working on Psalm 37 like you wrote. Some parts is hard to understand, but the chaplain helped me. Which verse do you like the best, Mr. Taggart? Well, hard to say, Pee Wee. Like this one, it says in our poverty, we're better off than Dwayne Shannon and all his riches. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. Chaplain says this here verse kind of sums up Psalm 37. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Daddy, who will we inherit the earth? Well, Chaplain says Jesus Christ is coming back as king. He'll reign for a thousand years and we'll be with him. When we inherit land, Will we get our ranch back? No, Pumpkin. We'll get a bigger and better one. What you got there, Pumpkin? It's a card, Daddy. I made it for you. Well, thank you, honey. I love you, too. Liz, we're ready to go. Stay close and out of sight. Ma was a good woman, Liz. I was the only one she had left. She deserved better. You can't change the past, Hank. All you can do is go forward. Ain't much to look at, but it sure holds a lot of memories. It's a shame Dwayne Shannon swindled Hannah out of her home, even before she died. She tried so hard to help Amanda and me. She was so sure she'd make money from her preserves, she made some kind of deal with Shannon to get money for her business. Before she knew it, she lost the house, and the ranch. She had to move in with us. I should have been here. I sure let you all down. I get so riled every time I think of Shannon. Me too, but honey, we just got to keep remembering Psalm 37. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Did your dad know about the church meeting tonight? No, Ma hasn't told him yet. He's waiting for the right moment. I think I'd better be going back to town now. Okay. 
Let's see how well Mr. Shannon's plan works. You boys stay here. I'm going to pay our friend, Mr. Taggart, a social call. Come on. Bye. Bye. Oh, that question you asked me. Why don't you ask your dad? Okay. Bye. Bye. The church folk helped us move her belongings. She kept it preserves in the storm cellar. Mr. Horton put him in the back room of the general store. You no, know, Liz, I was thinking, if we could... Daddy? Why does the good book say that God laughs at the wicked? Why does God say that's so funny? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because he knows they're in for a big surprise. Think we'd be laughing now if we knew of the surprise God had for Tween Shannon? Look, Hank, somebody's coming. You folks is trespassing. This here is Dwayne Shannon's property, and he don't hold to intruders. Sorry, mister, don't mean no harm. This here land once belonged to my ma. Well, if it ain't Hank Taggart, bank robber, ex-con, and, oh yeah, family man. You've had your say, mister. Now, why don't you just... Miles, ma'am. Chandler Miles. Heard you got religion in the state prison, Taggart. Seems like you'd do that at church. Wouldn't hurt you none to go there. Where's that, ma'am? Church or prison? <laughs> you figure it out. <laughs> well, aren't you a feisty one? Me, I ain't much for the good book, prayer, God, or, or church going. I do right fine on my own. It shows. There's something you wanted. Yeah, Taggart. I come to give you a message from Mr. Dwayne Shannon. Seems he could use you. You're fast with a gun, quick with an alibi, and from what I hear, plumb broke. You tell Mr. Dwayne Shannon I'm not interested. Come on, Taggart. A few days in your own ranch be up for sale to the highest bidder. Be a pity seeing you and your family lose your home. Oh, Miles, I'll tell you, if Shannon's got you, you don't need my help. That's so. From ex-con to charity case. The way I hear it, your wife's got all them church folks thinking up ways to loan you the money. Spoil the surprise, did I? Of course, the way Shannon hears it, Hank's newfound religion's just an act to get out of prison. Deep down inside, he's still an ex-con. Hank here planned to take the money and run. And you and your little girl be left here to scratch and crawl on your own. Only a rumor, of course, but the word got passed along in state prison that Hank here is going to bankroll his future on his wife and daughter's love and the goodwill of the people of Armour. Nice try, Taggart. <laughs> you got five minutes to get off this property. Is it true, Liz? Is it true? Well, yes. Church has been praying about us and the ranch and... I think some of the families are planning to give us some money. I don't need charity, and I don't want sympathy. Oh, Daddy. And the rumor. Is that what you had planned? No, it's not true. Makes me so mad. Dwayne Shannon sends him riding in here, stirs up our trust in each other, rides off. I trust you, Daddy. I know you do, Pumpkin. I got some business to tend to. If it's Dwayne Shannon, don't come back. Mama, please don't say that. I want Daddy to come back. Hey, Pee Wee, got a telegram from Brave Eagle. He's arriving on the stage today to talk to me about his buffaloes, too. He wants to see you and Amanda, too. Thanks, Mr. Horton. Looks like I got here just at the right time. Why don't I watch your horse? I'll never give up on him, Mama. Amanda, honey, there comes a time when every person has to be responsible for his own actions. Your father's a free man. He can make choices. If he makes a wrong one, his freedom's taken away. And then someone else makes the choices for him. 
prison? Or else he'll let Dwayne Shannon make his choices for him. Oh, he wouldn't do that, Mama. I know it. You still peewee on outside. Inside, you grow tall and straight. Inside, you still brave warrior scout. I'm trying, brave eagle. I read the good book, the Bible, and pray every day. Well, that good. Brave Eagle, proud of Warrior Scout. Brave Eagle, I'm glad you came to Armor. We need your help. What? Trouble? Amanda's folks are about to lose the ranch. They don't have any money for the mortgage payments. What can we do? We trust God. He concerned. He helped. How was the stagecoach ride? Mm, bumpy. Very bumpy. Very hard for Brave Eagle to sleep. Had three women passengers. Mm. One sausage salesman from Clearwater. One uh, businessman from Louisiana. And one cat food manufacturer from Butte, Montana. You know, pale face, strange people. Always want to sell something. They hear Brave Eagle also sell Brave Eagle Buffalo Stew. Want me sell for them. Hmm, look, here's samples. Uh, bite size, tender portions. Beef, pork. Uh, and uh, uh, soap? Ah, uh, sandwich. Corned beef on whole wheat. Yes. <laughs> And one jar of Hannah Taggart's homemade preserves. Let me see that. Good stuff. Orange marmalade. Good on corned beef. Make bread stick to meat. Where'd you get this? Uh, read ladle. Hannah Taggart's homemade preserves. Distributed by Ernest and Mario Pembroke. Fayetteville, Louisiana. So where are they? One grape and this one strawberry. No, no. Ernest and Mario. Uh, Mario, check into hotel. Where you go? The hotel, come on. Towns make Brave Eagle weary. Amanda, I hope you can understand what I'm about to say. Thirteen years ago, your father and I were married. He had a wife and he had a daughter, but he chose to drink and run with the worst culprits in these here parts. And then he went to prison and... Mom, can't we give Daddy just one more chance? Can't we? I love him. I know. I know. I... I love him, too. We'll always love him. I'm going to see the sheriff. It'll only be a minute. Hey, Nico! Hey, Nico! Princess Morningstar, how? I'm fine. Brave Eagle, we need your help. Mm. Amanda, come quick. God is answering our prayers. All I needed was Hannah Taggart's signature right here on this distribution contract. She sent us uh, oh, 20 cases or so sometime last spring. April it was. And a letter. Yes, I have it right here. I'm uh, sending you 20 cases of my homemade preserves. I know you can distribute these as I've purchased many of your fine Pembroke products at our general store. <laughs> she kind of butters me up here. Always what a bit of a softy when it comes to flattery. My preserves are all natural and made from finest ingredients, including tender, loving care. <laughs> Gets me right here. If you enjoy my preserves, I'll give you my recipe. I'm afraid time is running out for me, 
but I've left instructions in the safety deposit box at the first bank of armor. My affairs are all in order, even if my house is a bit of a mess. Enclosed, you'll find a copy of the Bible. It's a book that's given me great comfort and joy. Life did not turn out for me as I expected, but with all the other valleys behind me, I face the biggest valley as God would have me face it. Head held high, the Lord in my heart, nothing to fear, his eye upon the sparrow. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Yours truly, Hannah Taggart. Good old Grandma Hannah. Never in my life have I received a letter like this. It touched my heart. As a matter of fact, I have just started reading the good book, and it's chock full of good things just like Hannah's preserves, <laughs> and just as many seeds. Hurry, let's tell Mama. Where's Scout? Princess Morningstar, you run on ahead. We follow. Sheriff? I was just over at the bank. Claiborne wants to know if we're going to put any extra men on the stage tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Thursday. <laughs> I know the day, Deputy. What's the reason for the extra men? Oh, that big gold shipment from Clearwater. You want to ride shotgun? Sure. It's yours. It's Hank. He showed up yesterday morning. Then earlier today, he rode off to Dwayne Shannon's place. I'm worried he's going back to his old ways. I couldn't take it if he's sent back to prison. Now, don't you worry, Liz. Hank's just worked up over Shannon swindling Hannah out of her ranch. He'll be right back after he lets off some steam. You really think so? Why, sure. Look, with all the praying we've been doing for you and Hank at the church, you'll make the right decision. You'll see. But if it'll make you feel better, Liz, I'll see what I can do. What was he wearing when he rode off? Let's see. Oh, yes. His red plaid shirt, the one I made two Christmases ago. OK, well, we'll keep our eyes open for him. Now, you go on home, and don't worry. Just keep on praying and trust in the Lord. Thanks, Sheriff. Come quick. What, what, is what is it? Safety deposit box. Afternoon, Sheriff. Afternoon, Deputy Andy. Oh, what? Hurry, we're staying in the Kids. Did you really mean what you said to her about her husband? I sure did. I think Hank really got converted. I don't. It's hard to believe one little prayer can change a crook like Taggart. It's not our prayers that save us, Andy. It's our faith in the Son of God. He's the one that does the change. Still, we better not take any chances with that gold ship. I've got an idea. What's that, Sheriff? Oh, uh, let me think about it, mate, then I'll tell you. Deputy, you planning on shooting him, or are you just showing off? With Taggart on the loose, it pays to be cautious. It pays to pray. And put that thing back on the wall and go look after the horses. Prayer don't work. Then we shoot him. Well, if it ain't my good friend Taggart. Boys, I think Hank and I'd like to be alone. Come here. Long time no see. All right, Shannon. What's the idea of sending your hired gun to sow mistrust between me and my wife? Now, now, Hank. Calm down. He didn't mean nothing by it. Just trying to get you worked up enough to come up here for a friendly little chat. Friendly little chat, after you swindled mom out of her ranch, take me for someone loco. Hey, you got it all wrong. I did that for you. For me? You stole mom's ranch for me? Come on, Shannon. Now, listen, Hank. With you in prison, 
I was concerned Claiborne was going to try to work some kind of deal on Hannah. <laughs> you know, you can't trust bankers. Why, look at what Claiborne's doing to you. He's going to sell off your ranch Saturday to the highest bidder. Get to the point, Shannon. Well, to keep Claiborne from getting Hannah's ranch, I gave her the money she needed for her preserve business. I just wanted to help her keep the ranch till you got out of prison. Now that you're out, I want to help you. Let me show you how I can help you keep Hannah's ranch and yours. First, though, I'd like to show you the spread. <clears throat> Tim, saddle up my horse. thing that lasts. And money, of course. People around here nickel and diming their whole lives away. Maybe they like living the simple life. Simple is as simple does. Big fish swallowing up the little fish. In this world, you either chew it up or it chews you up. You're broke. Where do you go? The bank. Borrowing or stealing? Look, Shannon, if you've got something to say, say it. All right. Like Miles was telling you, I need a man with your kind of talent. I've got a big robbery coming up. You could get enough to pay off Claiborne and have some money left over. Another job or two, and, and you could have your mom's ranch back. What's it going to be, Taggart? Crawling on your belly to those church folk for a few moldy handouts. You're doing a few jobs for me. Chandler Miles ain't bright enough to pull off the robberies, huh? Well, I can't do it, Shannon. I'm not the same Hank Taggart that went off to prison. I'm different now. I've turned my back to my old ways. I've accepted Jesus Christ, and I'm trying to live for him. He shed his blood for my sins and forgave my past. There may be some rough times ahead, but the least I can do is follow him. So the rumors are true. Well, how's your new faith gonna hold up when you lose your ranch? Your family doesn't have any place to live. Don't know. But one thing I do know, I'd rather starve than work for you, Mr. Shannon. Good day. Taggart, you're making a big mistake. Boys, we were wrong about Taggart. He didn't take the bait. Mount up. Let's see if you can persuade him to change his mind. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Lord, I love this ranch, this stream, our house. Please make it possible for us to keep it.
Horton for keeping Hannah's preserves in the back room. Looks like Mr. Pembroke might be taking them off your hands. That's good news to me, even though all the folks around here love them. There ain't enough people in all of Armour to eat them all. Come on in, Pee Wee. Your dad said you could come for supper. Thanks, Mrs. Stagger. Here, I'll help you in. Thank you. I guess you all know why we're having this special meeting. I know Liz appreciates each of you coming and showing concern. I don't know there's much we can do, but at least we can talk it over some. Sheriff, what's going through your mind? Well, we need to be praying that the Lord will give Liz and Amanda and Hank special strength just now. As some of you know, Liz stopped by to see me this afternoon at my office. She was worried. What with Hank riding off to Shannon's ranch after being home just one day. Now, you all be praying about this. Yeah. Mr. Harden. There's something else I think Liz would have us pray about. Earlier today, a man came in on the stage from Clearwater. He's interested in buying up all of Hannah's preserves that I have stored in my back room. And I think he's at Liz's right now talking about this. They're all here. Hannah's secret recipes for preserves. Here they are. There's blueberry, raspberry, plum, grape, orange marmalade, and everybody's favorite, strawberry. Good. Now, I have uh, Horton's list of the preserves that he has over at his store. Why, well, she had a lot of preserves. Good thing, though. I can sell these while I'm uh, setting up to fix the new preserves over at Fayetteville. <laughs> oh, I'd better stay out of the kitchen. I might be eating up all the profits. <laughs> well, what do you think of that total? Oh, Mr. Pembroke, thank you. Praise the Lord. Now we'll be able to save our ranch and Amanda, we'll even be able to buy you a new dress down at Mr. Horton's general store. Oh, Mama, I'm so excited. Now you and Daddy can get some new clothes, too. Now, now, don't get excited yet. I don't have any money with me. I've got to make a trip over to Booker to the bank to make arrangements for the gold. I like to pay in gold coin. I don't trust these newfangled greenbacks. Now, when did you say you had to have the money? By Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock. Mm. That don't leave us much time. Train goes, well, Monday. Let's see. I've got a wagon. Uh, it's leaving from Booker tomorrow afternoon, going to Fayetteville, and it's got some of my merchandise on it. If we could get the preserves on that wagon somehow, I suppose I could take the stage, but the preserves, I, I don't know what I'd do about those. Maybe Brave Eagle could help. What could he do? If Mr. Horton would notice his wagon, Brave Eagle and Warrior Scout could get some supplies. I'd be mighty obliged to you, Pee Wee, if you could. I'd do about anything to help you and Amanda keep the ranch. Well, you'd have to leave at sunup in order to make it on time. You think I could go along? That way you could get paid proper-like when the preserves is delivered. Oh, good. 
I'm sure Brave Eagle would be glad to have you ride along. It might be a little bumpy, though. Mrs. Taggart, you can count on Brave Eagle and me to bring back the golden time to... Give to Mr. Claiborne at the bank. Praise God. He sure brought you here at the right time, Mr. Pembroke. Well, I'm glad to be of help to Hannah's kinfolk. Hank, where are you? Plum, sorry about your husband, ma'am. Can I get you something more to eat, Mr. Pembroke? Well, if I'm not imposing on your hospitality too much, ma'am, I'd sure like another piece of that homemade bread with some of Hannah Taggart's plum preserves. Why, certainly. Bring them in, bring the wandering ones to Jesus. Amen. Mr. Horton? Let's not forget what the pastor has been preaching on. The salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. We just got to keep praying and trust in the Lord. We sure have a lot to pray about. Why don't we go to prayer right now? And I'll ask Mr. Horton and Doc Witherspoon here and Brave Eagle to go before the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we're thankful for your love to us. Hannah must have been quite a woman. I sure was looking forward to meeting her. Her letter touched my heart. I wanted to ask her more about her Lord. Miss Taggart, I've been reading the good book that Hannah sent to me. Been trying to do what it said. Been thinking about it long and hard. But it don't seem enough. I, I don't have any peace. I don't have the assurance of my sins being forgiven like Hannah had. You know, I might meet my maker sometime soon, and, and I don't think I'm ready. The pastor's been preaching lately on Psalm 37. Says it tells us what the righteous are really like. Would you like to hear what it says? Oh, yes. Yes, I would. Here, follow along while I read. Trust in the Lord. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Why, you know, I've been thinking a righteous person had to work hard and, and do good deeds. But this seems to say that a person is righteous if he puts the Lord first in his life. That's right. The order has to be correct. First, Jesus must be the center of your life. Then, you can do good deeds because you love him. Jesus' death is what makes the difference. Amanda, why don't you quote one of the Bible verses you memorized in Sunday school from Mr. Pembroke? Romans 5 8. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I know a good one. Colossians 1 14. It says we have forgiveness of sins through Christ's blood. I rode into Armour on the stagecoach with Brave Eagle, and, and he told me that God's Son, Jesus Christ, took the bullet for me. Do you think? This is what he meant? God's son died in my place? Sure that's what he meant. That's just his way of saying it. Also, after Jesus Christ died for our sins, he rose again on the third day. It says that in 1 Corinthians 15.3. But I'm still confused. What, what do I do? The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's from Acts 16.31. You young'uns sure do know the good book. I wish I'd have studied it like you have when I was your age. But I'm still confused. I believe in Jesus, but I, I don't have peace in my heart. When you finally stop working for your salvation, as it says in Hebrews 4, and you rest in Christ's death to get you to heaven, that's when you'll have real peace. Remember Psalm 37? Rest in the Lord. That's the key. You need to rest in that. To trust completely that Christ's death paid the penalty for all your sins. You don't need to do good works to be saved. In fact, in God's eyes, all our good works are like 
filthy rags. I think you're right there, Miss Taggart. Do you remember, Mr. Pembroke, how Brave Eagle was asleep when the stage pulled into the town of armor? Sure do, Pee-wee. How he could sleep with all that bumping around going on, I'll never know. Brave Eagle is a good picture of resting in Christ. He trusted his stagecoach driver so much to take him into armor that he fell asleep. I see. And I need to have just as much trust in Jesus to take me to heaven. Yes, but just believing the stage we take him to armor didn't get Brave Eagle there. He had to climb in the stage. But what do you mean? How, how can I climb in to the Lord Jesus Christ? You have to talk to him like you talk to us. You know, like a friend. You need to receive him as your Lord and Savior, Mr. Pembroke. Would you like to pray to the Lord now? Yes. Yes, I think I would. Dear Lord, I, I don't rightly know what to say, and I don't know exactly how to say it. I do know I don't have peace in my heart. Lord, I thank you for paying for my sin, and I know I was mighty foolish to think that I could do anything to pay for it. I'd be mighty obliged, Lord, if you'd see fit to save me and give me peace in my heart right now. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm mighty glad I came to the town of Armour. I missed seeing Hannah, but I did meet her Lord. And someday, up yonder, I'm going to get to meet her too. yesterday when you rode off to Mr. Shannon's. Why isn't he back yet? Something's wrong. Daddy's in trouble. We know it. Hey, Taggart. You better get ready. Amanda, you're right. Your dad's in trouble. I've been wrong. I've been too hard on him, what with all he's been through. Mama, I think Daddy needs our prayers right now. You're right, Amanda. I'm making you nervous. I'm not trigger happy, but I'm just keeping an eye out for trouble. I just got a feeling that tiger's gonna rob us. Oh, will you and I? Nah! We got company. What?
down, down, lay it down. Now stick up your hands. Don't you move, mister. Come on up here. Hey, Taggart, give me the gold. You fool, you just gave my name. Get this here gold. Oh man, you guys better keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Let's go, come on. Taggart, you won't get away with this. That's Hank Taggart. That's Hank Taggart, all right. He's wearing the same shirt he was wearing when he left yesterday. Hey, look. It was Taggart, all right. That's from his little girl. Let's get out of here. We got to get the armor back. Get in there. Get in there. Get up. Jesus, please help my daddy. Keep him from trouble, whatever it is. Hey, Taggart. You better get ready. It's almost time for you to rob the stage. Miles, I told you, there's nothing you can do to make me rob that stage. Nothing. That's so. The way I heard it, you already done robbed the stage. What? <laughs> My shirt. So that's what why... What do you think we were going to do with it? Wash it? <laughs> oh. Looking for something? Amanda's card. Uh, don't worry, none. I'm sure somebody will find it. Like the deputy. <laughs> Mr. Shane has been planning this robbery for a good spell now. Needs the gold to buy your ranch. Thanks, Taggart, for getting out of prison. <laughs> Just in time for us to frame you for it. <laughs> so Shannon really does want my ranch. All that talk about me working for him so that I can keep it. You're catching on, Taggart. No way Mr. Shannon's gonna let you keep your ranch. Even if you did rob the stage. I wish I could see Claiborne's face when he hears you stole his gold. <laughs> you shouldn't get too mad, though. Uh, he did say that he'd give you every chance to get back on your feet. Nobody's going to believe an ex-con like you, Taggart. Not even your wife or kid. What you going to do, Taggart? <laughs> Just keep trusting the Lord. I reckon trusting the Lord and doing what's right. What happens to me is in his hands. What's gotten into you, Taggart? You really have changed, haven't you? God saved me. He cleaned me up. Gave me a new heart. God's son died for you too, Miles. He'll save you if you'll let him. Me? He died for me? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I wonder how soon your wanted posters will be out. Your picture will be plastered all over. Hank Taggart, wanted, dead, or alive. <laughs> oh, reward, reward. I sure could use some more money. I wonder how much you'll be worth, Taggart. Hank Taggart, wanted, dead. Has a pretty ring to it, don't it? The way I've been living, <laughs> I deserve what I get. Liz and Amanda, at least they got Ma's preserves to fall back on. Oh, I forgot to tell you. A lot can happen when one's tied up in a barn. <laughs> uh, rumor has it that your kid's friend and his Indian sidekick took them preserves this morning to Booker to sell. <laughs> yeah. They should be coming back with the gold Right about now. How do I look? Taggart, as soon as I get back, my boys and I'll be high-tailing out of here after getting our share of the loot and celebrating some. We'll be taking you with us, Taggart. <laughs> Come Saturday, when Mr. Shannon owns your ranch all legal like after buying it with the gold that you stole. We'll be dropping you on the trail somewhere. <laughs> the way I see it, you have two choices. Uh, either keep running from the law all your life or to turn yourself in and go back to prison. <laughs> I sort of hope you run for it. 
wanted, dead or alive. Don't be going anywhere till I get back. <laughs> Lord, I'm not much concerned what happens to me. I deserve what I get. But Liz and Amanda, watch over them for me. Please take care of them. Lord, we need your help. Please help us, Lord. Oh, Lord, please bring him back safe. I love him. And Lord, please protect Pee Wee and Brave Eagle as they bring the gold back to armor. I sure am mighty thankful to the Lord they sent you and Pembroke to armor at just the right time. <laughs> Lord's timing always right. He make no mistakes. in air. On second thought, leave the gold there. Get out of the wagon. Get out of the wagon. Turn around. Turn around. Quiet. You'll find your wagon up the trail a ways. I don't want you going back to town too fast. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. We pray, friend in white, be here, help us. Why does God let these things happen, brave eagle? God do right, do good, you trust him. Evil men stay rich for short time. You know in heart, God soon judge wicked man. We as children with him forever. You 
Get the sheriff! Get the sheriff! Hey, get the sheriff! Get the sheriff! Get the sheriff! Put it off! Get the sheriff! Tag it, rob the state! Get the sheriff! He robbed the state! Tag it, rob the state! Hey, he's got my gold! Haggard's got my gold! Oh no, my gold! Okay, sheriff, come on! Taggart robbed the state! Uh, come in! Come in! Well, boys, how'd it go? We done it, boss. <laughs> good, good. Any witnesses? Two. <laughs> Debbie swore he was Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, this calls for a celebration. <laughs> prayer fast. I take wagon. Sheriff, Taggart done robbed us just like I said he would. How do you know it was Taggart, deputy? I seen him with my own eyes, didn't we? Yep, sure did. What's your proof, deputy? Your proof? He was wearing that special shirt Liz made for him when he rode off. Did you happen to see his face? Saw his eyes between his hat and his kerchief. But one of his gang got so excited he forgot and called him Taggart. Hmm. Anything else? Yeah, here. It's from his little girl. The way I see it, that ought to be enough to send him to state prison till his teeth fall out and his hair turns white. How long did it take you to get here? Our horses was running all out, all the way. If Taggart robbed the stage, how'd he get here so fast? Fly? He's been here a spell. Taggart? What? Uh, it's okay, deputy. I'd have been fooled too. Shannon framed Taggart good. But the Lord intervened. Taggart told me all about it. <laughs> should have been her boss. The deputy says, Taggart, you won't get away with this. <laughs> and the beauty of it is, he won't. <laughs> Two witnesses, no alibi. <laughs> Governor's sure going to wish he'd never let Taggart out of prison when the good citizens of Armour get done with him. <laughs> you can never have enough gold. So let's get on with it. Let's open the gold box so we can get down to some victuals. Hold up, make me hungrier than a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, bring it on into the next room, boys. So Shannon has my gold. What are we standing here for, Sheriff? Let's get a posse and get after him. In due time, Claiborne, in due time. But Shannon doesn't have your gold. I don't think I understand. If Shannon hasn't got my gold, well, who has my gold? I do. My plan was to have two cash boxes and to hide the second one, the one with the gold in it. Shannon's gang got the surprise box. Thanks, Sheriff. But what did Shannon get? Uh, Hannah would be glad to know they got their just desserts. And when I say desserts, I mean desserts. Oh, no! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, looks like we've been hoodwinked by that little old lady from Harvard. Well, anyone for a jelly sandwich? Hey, strawberry. Give me some of that there, break. I think I'll take orange marmalade. 
you nakum poops. Imagine going to prison for a jelly sandwich. Mum's the word on this job, guys. Hey, boss. This is pretty good. Jams and jellies. I'll tell you, a guy can't make a living swindling and cheating. behind bars. When you've done that, round me up a posse that I can deputize. Then we will ride out and pay Mr. Shannon a little surprise visit. Go on, take him off. Daddy, I knew you would. 